In our last episode, we explored the Harbor Grand Hotel, discovered the fate of Captain Wabash, and tracked down the nuclear launch key at Fringe Cove Docks. We now have everything we need to destroy the Children of Adam and to destroy the people at Far Harbor. But one thing we haven't done is checked in with Kasumi. We now know what was inside Dima's memories, but we haven't told her yet. So heading back to Acadia, we can move to the very bottom and check in with Kasumi. Hey, Kasumi. You're back. So what did you find? Can we really trust Dima? Or is he hiding something? Do you really want to know? I left home and came a long way to find answers. I'm not stopping now. I'm done with having the truth hidden from me. I found Dima's earliest memories. He murdered and replaced someone in Far Harbor. And then he covered it up, even hiding the knowledge of it from himself. I'll sum it up. I found Dima's earliest memories. He's killed before. He's manipulating the whole island. Damn it. I was hoping I was wrong, but I just knew there was something. Do you know why he did it? Does it matter? Isn't knowing what he did enough? He's been hiding so much from us. Why does anyone do evil things? Because they can, because it's easy. God. I think he just wants peace for everyone on the island, even if it means controlling them from the shadows. So he means the best? Should we help him? I think he was desperate. He thought it was the only way. Has Acadia been a mistake this whole time? Is it worth saving? There are good people since here. Acadia is going to burn, Kasumi. This can't continue. You're serious? But no one else here has done anything wrong. No. I've made up my mind. I'm staying. At least I'll be dying with my own kind. I should have never asked for your help. Just... leave. If we choose this option, Kasumi walks off. We fail at convincing her to leave, and she doesn't want to talk with us anymore. Leave. Unless you're planning to help Acadia? We have nothing to talk about. This is problematic, because what if one of our future options includes, I don't know, destroying Acadia? Well, then we kill Kasumi, who's still here, and fail our primary quest. So, exploring some other options... You should head home, Kasumi. Back to the Commonwealth. I've been thinking about that, actually, but I need to see this through. There are synths here I care about. Maybe when this is over... We can talk about it again? Acadia is still an ideal worth protecting. I'll do everything I can. You're right. We have to see this through. Maybe you can use what you've found in Dima's memories and convince the old synth to do what's right. I know you've been doing all the hard work. I've been making a few things. Take them. Maybe they'll help. Come talk to me when this is all over, okay? Good luck. I need to think this through, Kasumi. Yeah. We both do. Thank you for telling me the truth, at least. Whatever you decide, just keep in mind that there are innocent lives here. No matter what Dima has done. With that, Kasumi walks off. She gives us three Rataway, three stim packs, and three Stealth Boys. But she still won't leave. She won't leave until after we make our final decision. Well, before we start siding with factions, we can head upstairs to restock on ammunition. Moving to the second level, we can check in with Cog, who usually has a tidy stash to sell. <clears throat> hey, you got a second? Word is you were asked to go check out some boat for Faraday. Storage drives or something, right? Okay, I need you to come with me for a minute. We're gonna go have a little chat with Jewel, and if I know her, she's hiding out. Uh, we are? Okay, Cog. He walks off to go find Jewel, who walks this way for some reason. Hey there, kiddo. I need you to tell our friend here what you told me. What the fuck, Khan? That was between us! Skip it, okay? She's here to help. Promise. Fine. I don't see the point. Alright, look. You know my head is messed up, right? Brain scrambled or whatever. I keep having these dreams. They're sort of like dreams, I guess, but... It's like they're more real. There's... God, this is so stupid. There's this boat, and <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> and I hear screaming. I think it's me screaming, but... 
but I can't be sure. <laughs> and that's it. That's so weird. I have this recurring nightmare where an insufferable asshole keeps talking at me about all her shitty problems, and I can't escape. Wow. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. That's pretty good. <laughs> but, I mean... So, you're having bad dreams. Boo-hoo. Yeah, yeah. Poor little me. Whatever. Except... What do you think it means? Fuck if I know. I thought it was just one more thing that got screwed up when I had my head wiped. That sounds awful. I'm sorry you're going through this. Okay, let's not get all sappy. <laughs> I thought it was all bullshit, only... Okay. I know this sounds ridiculous, but I found this key. I had it... somewhere. It's fuzzy, but I swear it's connected. It means something. And Cog said he knows what, and he says you know too. So just take it and... I don't know... fix this. She hands us Victoria's key. Victoria? As in Victoria's trunk? At last we can discover what's inside the thing. Checking back in with Cog. Hey there. So, you see why I wanted you to know about this, right? That boat Faraday wanted you to find, it's connected, right? Gotta be. Please tell me you're gonna go check it out. Since when do you care about any of this? Jewel's a good kid. She had some messed up stuff happen to her. And if there's a way to sort it out, then she deserves it. Come on, don't make me get all sentimental about it. I don't know, Cog. This all seems pretty unrelated. Okay, fine, maybe it is. But if there's a chance this could help Jewel, just give it a look, okay? Look, this is ridiculous. I've got better things to do. Maybe you do, but Jewel could really use some help. Just... While you're out there tooling around, just think about it. I'll make sure I take a thorough look. Thanks. I mean it. Just... If anything turns up, you come tell me. Not Jewel, okay? You and I can sort this out. This quest doesn't become available to us until after we complete Faraday's quest to retrieve the data drives on the boat and after we access Dima's memories, which is why we didn't complete this quest when we were last at Acadia. Now we have to investigate the boat, and after all this time we know exactly where it is. Heading back to Southwest Harbor, we can follow the shoreline towards the Vimpop factory, and when we reach the docks we can take the boardwalk down to the beach. Here we find Faraday's wrecked ship and Victoria's trunk on the deck, exactly where we left it. Opening it, we find ammunition, a weapon, some armor, and Victoria's note. Reading it? Never should have let Faraday talk me into this. If only I could resist that sweet face of his. It's easy. Just steer the boat and you'll be fine, he says. I swear, if anything happens. He says he can fix me up if something goes wrong. Supposed to make me feel better, but actually makes me more nervous. What can he do in that lab of his? He's very secretive. Won't even let me look at the terminal. Okay... So Victoria was piloting this ship when it crashed. Faraday wanted her to steer. She agreed to do it because he's so handsome. But wait, even before the crash, she was worried about something happening to her. So worried that she talked with Faraday about it. And then Faraday said, yeah, don't worry. If anything happens, I can fix it. What a weird conversation to have before a trip. What a weird thing to write down on paper. At any rate, the note points us where to go next. Heading back to Acadia, we can take the staircase all the way down to the bottom level and move into that secret lab where Faraday, Chase, and Dima had their secret meeting. Here, we find a terminal which we've already read, but we discover that one of the entries has been elaborated upon. When we came here in episode 11, navigated to past projects and then read reconstruction surgery number 9, we learned that subject VS brought in after incident on island. Severe trauma to head and upper torso, cognitive functions impaired, all functionality restored. But after starting this quest, we find a personal note. I still struggle with the decisions made. Victoria was almost beyond helping. But what was done? I wonder if it was fair. 
Objectively, there was no choice. She'd suffered so much damage that the equivalent of a mind wipe was absolutely necessary. But this can't just be a dispassionate, impartial decision. This was our friend, and we wiped her without her consent. Now she's someone else, and she doesn't even know. We'll do our best to look after Jewel, of course. We owe her that much. Oh my god! Jewel is Victoria! She was almost killed when she accidentally ran Faraday's ship aground! They got to her body, but the damage was so severe that in order to repair it, they had to wipe her mind. Now we better understand the room on the other side of this formerly locked door. This was their operating room. This is where they performed the mind wipe on Victoria. But how could a mind wipe go so badly that Jewel still has flashes of Victoria's memories? To find out, we can head back up to the top floor and try to learn more by confronting Faraday. <coughs> yes? I know what you did to Jewel, Faraday. What? Oh. Oh, no. O okay, look. I'm not even going to complain that you've been snooping around in terminals, all right? I know how this looks. You have to understand, we did the best we could. Let me guess. You had no other choice? Oh, no. There's always a choice. But the other option was to let her die. And it's always so easy to look back and judge. Can you just tell me what happened? The boat crashed. She was beyond injured. We did what we could. But the only way to get her past the trauma was to try a wipe. I don't have Institute-level technology here. There were complications. And now... Well, now she's Jewel. She's broken. But she's alive. There's no excuse for leaving her in the state she's in. We had the chance to save her life, and we took it. We did whatever we had to. And I constantly second-guessed that decision. You saved her life. Nothing matters as much as that does. Technically, yes. But... And the side effects... I swear to you, I wanted better for her. I really did. Do me a favor. Don't say anything to her. I can live with the guilt. She shouldn't have to. So it was a life and death decision. It was either perform a mind wipe on Victoria or let her die. And Victoria was in no state at the time to give her permission. By that time, Victoria was essentially dead. They simply salvaged what remained of Victoria to create Jewel. Faraday is the only one who can comment on this. Neither Chase nor Dima have anything to say, despite this being done with Dima's approval. And so we can head back down to the second level to tell what we've learned to Cog. <clears throat> you found something, didn't you? All right, spill it. What's going on? What do we tell Jewel about all this? You've got to tell me everything. There was an accident. Emergency surgery was the only way to save her. They did reconstruction surgery on her? Why? Jewel used to be named Victoria. She was a totally different person. Sith. This doesn't make any sense. The mind wipe that went bad? Faraday did it with Dima's blessing. What? The hell are you talking about? All right, look, this is a real shit show. But telling Jewel, it doesn't do her any good. Just hand over the note you found, and let's call this a day. You want to just keep this a secret? Of course I do. No one benefits if this comes out. Is it screwed up? Yes, absolutely. It's nuts that they do this to one of us. But the damage is already done. Tell Jewel, and not only will it crush her, it could ruin this whole little fake utopia everyone has going. Screw it. We pretend this didn't happen. Are you with me? Jewel deserves to know the truth. Oh, bullshit. She deserves a chance to be happy, and this will do the exact opposite. Come on, hand it over, and let's forget this happened. Fine. Here you go. Thank you. I won't say anything, you don't say anything, and we can all just go on pretending that everything is fine. If we choose this option, Cog gives us a crippling sledgehammer. It does 50% more limb damage. It's basically just a normal sledgehammer with the crippling legendary effect. The one I got had the puncturing mod attached. 
By choosing this option, we give Cog Victoria's note, so we don't have any evidence of what happened that we can give to Jewel, which means Jewel will never know what happened. This option generates no further dialogue from any of the other characters in Acadia. Or we can refuse. Sorry, Cog. I can't do that. Shit. This is not what I wanted. Okay, fine. Tell her. See what happens. Live with that guilt. Turning around, we can track down Jewel, who's sitting on this couch back here. For some reason, no matter how many times I did this quest, I always found this unusual audio glitch. Jewel! Oh, shit! I need to talk it's to you. It's about that key, isn't it? And the boat! You found something, didn't you? <laughs> what is it? Are you sure you really want to know? Well, when you put it like that... <laughs> just tell me! <laughs> the suspense is killing me. You know what? Never mind. Uh, okay. You were in an accident. You would have died if Faraday hadn't done extensive surgery on you. No, that's... Jewel, you would have died if Faraday hadn't saved your life. But in order to do that, they had to wipe your mind. What? I, you know, on some level, I fucking knew it. I knew that these people who call themselves my friends tell me they want to help. They did this to me. And who the hell gives them the right to decide that I don't get to be me anymore? I didn't ask for this. I didn't want any of this. God, this place is no different than any other. You just get screwed no matter what. Well, I'm done. I quit. <laughs> You can have my stuff. Doesn't mean shit to me anymore. There's a chest down in the basement. This'll open it. I'm out of here. With that, Jewel freaks out and leaves Acadia. But not before giving us her key. That's right. We remember downstairs in the basement, we found that one footlocker that was locked. Heading back that way, we can turn left and go into the first gap to the left, and here we find Jewel's lockbox, which we can now open with her key. Inside, we find a small stash of caps and ammunition, and the unyielding synth chest piece. This is basically a heavy synth chest piece with the unyielding legendary effect, which incidentally is a new legendary effect to Far Harbor. It grants plus three to all stats, but only when we are at 25% or less health. Despite it being a common item with a new Far Harbor legendary effect, this piece is pretty rare and special because synth armor randomly drops either as standard, sturdy, or heavy. Once we get the piece in that condition, we can't upgrade it or downgrade it to any other type of armor. But this piece comes out of the box as a heavy version of the synth chest piece, and the legendary effect is pretty useful. Though its description is not quite accurate. It doesn't grant plus three to every stat. It grants plus three to every stat except endurance. If they buffed Endurance, it would mess with the mechanic that triggers this legendary effect. But still, even without the Endurance buff, it's a pretty useful effect. So in my opinion, this is a superior reward compared to the Sledgehammer. But of course, either of their desirability is based on your character's build. If we follow Jewel, or Victoria, we watch her head outside. But once we are out there, we don't see her anywhere. I ran around out here trying to find her for quite some time. There are plenty of synth refugees, but none of them know where Victoria went. I finally found her while exploring the rooftop of Acadia. Looking down, we see her walking. Okay, what you doing, Jewel? Just walking around the back of the observatory, eh? She walks all the way around and then heads back inside. After a while, she walks into a corner and sits down and begins to rock back and forth. Hey there. It's all fucked. All of it. Turns out you can't trust anyone. Anyone. The worst part about this, I got nowhere else to go. Poor Jewel. Betrayed by the people who were supposed to be looking out for her. Betrayed by the people who were supposed to be her family. How many more deceptions is Dima hiding? But can we really blame Dima for this? 
Is this the result of a poor decision? Is it something that could have been avoided? Or was this perhaps unavoidable? Did Faraday simply make the best of a bad situation? Did he make the same decision you would have made had you been in his shoes? Or was his decision unforgivable? Should he have allowed Victoria to simply die rather than to wipe her mind without permission? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. In our next video, we will finally confront Dima with the information that we discovered in his memories. And we will make one of three choices. We can turn off the fog condensers protecting Far Harbor, killing them all. We can use the nuclear launch key to destroy the children of Adam. Or tell Captain Avery and Alan Lee exactly what Dima did to them. I publish new Fallout videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss that video, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have, but you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a brand new shirt in the shop. Glory to Atom! If you believe, like High Confessor Tactus, that the heresy of Far Harbor cannot be forgiven, then you can find this shirt in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. This design and all of my designs come on other products as well, like smartphone cases, both Android and iPhone, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members and patrons on Patreon are becoming increasingly important as YouTube continues to make platform changes that make the future of monetization on YouTube uncertain. So to all my YouTube members and patrons on Patreon, you have my sincerest thanks. These videos would be impossible without your help. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more brand new videos. Turns out you can't trust anyone. <laughs> Turns out you can't trust anyone. <laughs> Hey there. It's all fucked. The worst part about this, I got nowhere else to go.